and I love close games. <laughs> um, you know, just proud of our guys. Just, uh, it wasn't pretty. We got to shoot the ball better at home. But uh, this time last year, we would have won the game, period. And um, the last two timeouts, I thought our guys just were in a good place in the huddle, talking to each other, clear minds, sort of next play mentality. I saw something there. I'm just really proud of them. Uh, look, they're a good team. They got older guys. Um, they're not afraid to play on the road. Wright Foreman is a heck of a player. I thought uh, at times we guarded him really well. I thought in the second half he got loose, but I thought we made some plays. I thought we wore him down a little bit going into the overtime. But we got some big stops, big rebounds. The guys made a couple plays, and, and uh, it wasn't pretty. Uh, but an ugly win, win is nice, too. And, and I'm just glad. I'm, I'm proud of the guys. It's, we reversed it from the other day. That's, we reversed it, and uh, we found a way to win. And, uh, you know, we got to learn from it, though. I, I said it to the guys. I said that we, we got to have a standard that's beyond the game itself, a standard of how we need to play all the time. And we got to learn to keep the dog when it's down and, and keep it down. And uh, we're going to work on it. Uh, you mentioned a year ago they won the this type of game. Uh, what about the chemistry you make with this team that allows them to play better in those tight late game situations? Well, they're older, too. Uh, they're older, and they're, some of them are healthier. and just more confident, and um, I think the offseason did, did a lot of wonders to their psyche. I think, I, I think the offseason um, got them mentally tougher, and I think that's why you saw some of these close games, the last three especially, that, uh, that there was something there. So we got to get a lot better uh, with the schedule we have, and we got to play better than we did tonight. But our guys found a way, and I, I, that, that's, a, that's a step for us, without a doubt. You mentioned uh, you're kind of a good mind space in you know, late in those games as well. Uh, who is maybe among the leadership or, or is kind of speaking up in the other than the time I was playing the game and kind of helping keep the guys in a good spot late in the game? Well, I think everybody has a part in it. I think the guys that lead the way, uh, Wayne, probably, you know, Marcus Evans and DJ and IV, when they they are talking, it's real positive, and the guys like that without a doubt. You know, but the one thing about our team is a, a lot of them talk to each other. And like, there's good spirit. They get along really well. Um, if somebody doesn't make a play, a guy might hold someone accountable, but he's not beating them down. He's like, you got this. Don't worry about it. Move on. And you need that, man. You, you need that. It's a long year. And you, you, you know, as a player, you have, you have a good day or you have a bad day or you have a tough week. And when your teammates are talking to you about, let's go figure it out, um, you know, you, you do. You don't want to let those guys down. You guys expect this much zone coming in this game? I didn't yeah. see. Yeah, yeah, and uh, you know we had two good practices against it. I thought we were prepared. Um, a lot of it is we just didn't make some open shots. I mean, uh, man, I wish I would have played in that game. I had some buckets. Uh, you know, we just we, we we had open shots early, and you saw the rhythm that we got in, and then we got a little flat. Especially we got flat foot in the second half, and took, and the ball stuck. Uh, I thought Sean did a good job at times getting that ball moving from the high post. But we were just, you know, when the shots don't go down, you're like, all right, I don't want to mess up, but we can't play that way. We got to play aggressive and downhill. And you saw later in the game there, especially when we got down, guys went and attacked. We got to be like that all the time. And they know I want them to be that way, but they also don't want to mess up. You know, the, there's that balance. And uh, we got to get away from not worrying about messing up and being aggressive and being prepared to shoot the ball. And thought we had some open ones, and then guys get a little trigger, you know, a little, a little shy, and uh, we, we can't do that. We got to let them fly. Coming into the, to this season, really, against the Zone team, if you look at all these guys' numbers, these are 36 to 40 plus percent three point shooters. Yeah. Um, how frustrating is it that they, they just don't seem to be falling from guys with career data that you say, hey, these guys can shoot? I don't know what's going Yeah, on. so as a coach, just tell them not to shoot it. When, when you believe in them, you know, the biggest thing is get in the gym and work at it, come back at night and shoot at it. Uh, we, you know, two, two guys came back late last week. The night before games, we all come back in here and shoot an arena. And then later that night, some guys came back again. You just got to keep shooting it. Uh, I, I tell the guys, if, if you don't believe in your shot, don't shoot it. Put someone else out there. But if you believe in your shot and you're working on it, let it fly. And that's the mentality we have. You, you guys know I'm, I'm not changing that. Uh, I want guys to be aggressive. Now, you, you, we got to be smarter and getting maybe better ones and mixing our game up, attacking it and, and, and pulling threes. But, um, you know, we're going to have – first half you thought, man, we're going to have a lot of threes today. Um, we just got to – got to do a better job of, uh, uh, of logging the game sometimes, who's shooting, who's shooting what shots. Um, the answer isn't stepping back further. 
it's it's attacking more and getting closer to the line and making it a little bit easier shot. So we'll review the tape and look, we shoot a ton in practice. Guys come back all the time. Uh, you know, Kel, Kel and 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 IV and all the guys. They they all, they all shoot and they know it. I'll tell you one thing. All year long, the guys that haven't been shooting the numbers that you and I know about, uh, they know it. And that's why they're showing up early in practice and shooting more and staying around later and uh, coming back at night. We just, we, we you know, we got to make some open shots. As a former player yourself, how did you sort of cope with those kinds of stretches where maybe had some games? And live in the gym. L live in the gym. Um, you know, we have an awesome trainer. We, we could, you take care of your body, but shooting, shooting doesn't kill your body. Shooting's for your mind. And, uh, you know, I've, I remember having them, and you go back with an assistant coach, you go back with a GA, and you just shoot. And, uh, you know, I just, I just believe that when you start seeing it go in all the time, when nobody's around, you, you're going to feel really good about it when people are around. And uh, that's the only way. And I spent many nights in gyms with players, and I'll continue to do it. And uh, they're going to get confidence from me. Uh, and I'm going to juice them up all the time because when we start, the way we're guarded, Matt, right, and now we, we can start making some threes. That's a pretty tough opponent to play against. Uh, but we got to we got to find a way to do it. And but we're going to let them fly in practice. And we're going we're going to work on it. What are you going to do to get better when you have to guard a right foreman or a pawn? Well, I think there's a couple different. I mean, we blitzed them today, and we let them out of the blitz a couple of times. We got to get better at that when we when when we have a guy that's going to isolate us so much. Um, I, you know, I think you can play him a couple of different ways. Make him go to his his weak hand. You know, keep him out of the middle of the floor. Um, when when they do have some isolations, you know we trap. Let's let's go run run guys at them. Just mix it up that way, but you can't let them get to the basket and get some layups to get himself going. We got to defend. We ha we've been defending the rim really, really. We've done a really good job of that this year, but they had they got loose there in the second half. He got going with a couple of layups. Now he's starting to feel it. Hit some. Now he's hitting threes, some some pull ups, some runners. So defend that rim like crazy and make him shoot contested twos. And you know. He uh, he took 25 shots. You know, you know, he he has to score a ton for him, but he took 25 shots. He was 10 for 25. So, um, you, you, their best player is averaging 28 a game, and he shoots 10 for 25. Somebody's guarding him pretty well. Is that balance that you mentioned of your players trying not to make mistakes? Is that one of the reasons <laughs> why you think there's a you, your players can't? Get 40 minutes of just keeping the um, gas. Keep yeah, yeah. Well, we haven't had a lot of it, you know, last year, and and you're seeing some of it now. We just, you know, that's something we got to improve at, without a doubt, and and uh, we just got to have that mentality of not a, not to relax when you get up, and you know, push the pedal down even more, you know, through the bottom, and don't stop. And uh, you know, that's I I told the guys I said you know. I said, I wish my, my dad was around because he would have ran through that door after the game and knocked it over and told the guys, like, you gotta, you got to keep the dog when it's down, and then you got to take its heart. He used to say that to my brother and I all the time. And it, not unsportsmanlike, but as a competitor. So not only do they remember the next time they play, but everyone else does. And I, we got we got to get that mentality. And uh, it's a killer mentality. It's a mentality that, you, that uh, if our guys get and it becomes part of who we are, uh, I think that could really help us. You think that mentality can come before Old Dominion goes into it? You better, right? When you're on the road. That's the fun of it, though. That's the fun of our job, uh, to, to, to sell that to our guys and, and make sure they buy into it. And, uh, you know, if we go down there, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be a war. But, I mean, come on, how much fun is that? Uh, what, a, what a great rivalry. The place will be packed. Ice cream and cake at the four-minute mark. You know what I mean? I mean, who wouldn't want that? <laughs> After St. John's game, you talked about, um, you know, it's, it's got to hurt, but also make you guys better. Uh, what were the kind of practices like coming off St. John's you guys got back? And how did you, you maybe see some of that? Well, uh, in the locker room and the day after, our guys, our guys were really mad. They were really upset. Um, and, uh, I, I, you know, I, I'm big on this. Uh, to be a great team, to, to build a culture that's – the right type of culture. Honestly, I think you got to hate losing more than you love winning. Those are the type of dudes I want in our program, and I saw that. You know, I saw that. I saw that from some young guys. I saw it from some older guys. Guys that were on the court at the end of the game. Uh, that locker room. These guys were mad. 
they were upset and they were mad and and uh, that's that's uh, that was a good sign where we were disappointed with the result and and even tonight you know we won the game so you know that's great that's awesome but they also know we got to play better there's a standard and when they're thinking that we're getting somewhere that doesn't mean it happens overnight and and it doesn't you know you sometimes take a step back to take two steps forward uh, but uh, they were really upset the next day they they were mad uh, they they were they were mad and and uh, I think as a coach, I want guys like that in our program. Um, that 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 the, they felt like they let each other down and they didn't finish the job and it wasn't like hey we were close that was a great game. No, they they were mad and that's the next step and that's building the culture and I, I think it's important that you the culture takes on the personality of the coaching staff as well. We were mad too. Uh, and we were we were mad that of the result. We were mad that we we could have won that game, but. Let's use that now, and then and even today, you know, we're we're mad that we, we didn't play to a standard that we want, but we still found a way to win. So, steps in the right direction. What do you think? <laughs> absolutely, yeah, absolutely. But we're gonna let them fly. We're gonna, we're gonna keep attacking, playing aggressive. The biggest thing about playing against the zone is is you know, sort of take it as an insult. Can't guard me man to man, so you're gonna have to play me zone. We'll watch this. And the, the, we're, we're, we're going to create that confidence with our guys. We're going we're gonna to shoot it like crazy. We're going to keep that ball hot. But, yeah, we're, we're going to get better on that. I can promise you that. Thanks, Have a great night, guys. Thanks.